everyone, welcome to TigerTutorials.com. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a PHP email spammer on my website TigerTutorials.com. Uh, you can find full textual tutorials and the actual code they're going to be using today. Uh, so go to your Dreamweaver or other HTML editor and um, we're going to start out with some basic PHP tags that uh, are included in every PHP um, language. Um, and I'm going to be using an if statement and inside the if statement we're going to be checking to see um, whether the information that was posted by the users is really posted or not. <clears throat> um, and this is kind of preliminary to what the actual um, what the actual form will look like um, because that, that will be um, inserted later on in the code but it's not going to be inserted immediately right now. Um, we're going to be putting um, the variables right here um, and the variables are set to the information that the user posted inside the um, form data. So let me just type all of these out here. Uh, like I said, you will uh, be able to find um, this full script on the um, website, so you don't have to type this all out, but it is a good uh, help for you beginners or advanced users to um, type out all of the script, as it does help me, because then you can just kind of mentally go through each piece of information and you'll get a better sense of what you're actually doing. At least that's just my policy. Okay. Um, the subject is the obviously the subject that the, the email is about. Uh, that's just like I think you guys know, know what a subject is. Okay. Um, last and I am kind of sidetracked by typing this stuff out because I'm not a big multitasker so my ability to speak and type is a bit impaired but I am doing the best I can okay you're almost done okay so we're done with all the variables. Um, the next piece of information I'm going to be doing is a um, like a stopper that stops people from be, uh, being being able to um, use your email um, against you. Um, and this is a good piece of stopper for people being. Okay, so this um, is good in case you have somebody that just feels that they want to, you know, annoy you and use this against you. Um, I thought this would probably happen to me, um, so that's why I'm making it. Um, so just put your email and then add um, probably example.com, whatever. All right, so that's going to be on there. That is on the web on my website. Uh, so that will be up there. Um, from email. Yeah, this is another one. It just completely roots your your um, email out from being sent from you. So you don't have any rude emails being sent from your email, even though your email is not the person you're sending it to. Um, and I'm making a PIN number. Um, you can make your PIN number whatever you want to make it, but on my website it's 4567. I have it set to a four letter sequence. You can change that on my code. Um, like I said, you can change basically, you can change everything. Uh, it's up to you. Get creative with it. Alright, so I'm going to be putting an else statement here. Send email. Here. Copy. One second, let me just get this on. Alright. So 
So you have your else if statement right here. All right, so this is going to be like a password if, if you want to test your email. Um, say you want to you know check and see if your email thing really works, but you don't want to have to log on to a different email. Um, and you just put your password here. That's another cool feature besides the PIN number. Every user will have to enter the PIN number to access this, but you're the only person that's going to be able to enter the password to be able to use um, your script, which is nice. And that's just an enhanced feature that I put on there when I was trying to test this thing out. And I thought it was a very good addition. I'm not sure what's going on with that. All right. So now we have the else if statement here. Um, we're going to make an if statement. This elf, else if statement. There we go. That was a problem. There's always a problem with PHP. That's good. All right, so we're going to be putting a boolean value here. Or bool. Boolean means true or false. Um, I just like to make it short. It doesn't have to be bool, but whatever. All right, so the for loop is basically the heart of the email spammer. This does allow the email spammer to iterate through as many emails as your user or you specifies. Um, and this is what it looks like. Um, num is the amount of emails that you want it to go through. Um, I'm just going to give you some basic information on what a for loop does. Um, this variable i is initialized in the beginning part here. Um, i um, executes whatever the condition down here is. It's supposed to be here. The condition is right here. Um, and then this loop right here, it executes this as many times as this is true or false. So um, this i would have to be less than num for this to execute every single time. So say num is 10 and i is 9, the next time it goes around, i is 10 and it has to be less than 10, 10 the whole thing will stop. And i um, iterates every time because there's a plus plus symbol here. So that's how a for loop works. It's just like a for or do loop. Um, but the for loop is just user friendly. Um, this is the two. Yeah, so just some more variable typing here. So let's just get it over with. Like I said, probably three times before. This is all website. I do um, urge you to visit my website. It has been a huge success on my part. Uh, it has taken me quite a while to create and make and promote, etc. And if you guys could just visit it and maybe post a comment, definitely sign up. That would make my day. All right, so one thing that I need to discuss that maybe you guys could pay attention to for your, the sake of changing some things around is, let me just get this out here. All right, we'll finish that up in a second. But um, the subject here, the counter, like I said, um, say the subject was dog, um, if you just had dog spam every second, whatever you had on Gmail, um, Gmail would automatically case this into one dog email with about four different, it'll have like that, but I didn't want that, so I got around with it by saying, um, make it one, dog one, dog two, I mean, two, three, four, so that is helpful. I'm not sure if it really does anything. I mean, I know it does something, but it doesn't root it out from being a spam mail. Um, so that, I mean, you can just change that around. You can make it so dictionary words are put in there, but um, it is kind of not really worth it, considering this is something that is just kind of something to play around with. All right, so I think I'm up to my 10 um, minute limit. So I'll meet you in the next tutorial. Bye.